and I guess it's like the animal segment, the animal part of the show, mm -hmm. because Corbin Maxey is back. I haven't seen Corbin in a while. And you're back. I know, but I, I haven't seen George in a while, too. And George is back. Everybody's yeah. back. And we're I've all crossing our fingers Don't worry. Um, so you just <laughs> not jump to the green screen into the weather like last time. <laughs> um, so this is George, red kangaroo hey, from bye. Babby Farms. And hasn't he just gotten so much bigger? Yeah. And redder, too. Isn't that crazy? He, he really does look like yep. more colorful than he did before. I yep. can see why he, he's called a red kangaroo. Absolutely. Just a red kangaroo. You know what's so unique, though, about the color is that not all the red kangaroos, George, Say right here are actually <laughs> red. Um, it depends on their distribution throughout Australia. And of course, the largest marsupial, they can get up to 200 pounds. But wow. George won't. No, 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 George won't. Spencer, <laughs> do you want to give it a try? This is yeah, actually how you very, very <laughs> strong muscular tail. Just hold on to it. Okay. Probably better with my wrist. And you know, such a fantastic animal. And um, like I said, George has a lot of growing to go. Okay. A lot of growing to go. Like I said, he's not 200 pounds yet. And one day he'll be six feet tall. Oh. So hold on there. Spencer. And of course, he um, could be. He could. He could be standing up, which is normally what they would be doing. You know, the last time we went there yeah. on location at Abbey Farms, George. I was looking him in the eye as he stood on his on his hind legs. Uh -huh. Of course. If we were to do that, he'd probably start jumping around. Exactly. Here, he right? was, did he actually try to box you last? <laughs> yeah, he was. I mean, in a oh, playful yeah. way. He because he, he wasn't way. mean at all. But yeah, he was. Yeah. He was kind of getting up on the shoulders yep. and that kind of yep, stuff. Yep. Yep. And you know, he's such a fantastic, just a kind of a curious critter. Um, you know, and these animals actually they travel in mobs. That's kind of the term for a lot of kangaroos that they'll travel in mobs. Um, complete vegetarians, so they'll go to you know they eat shrubs, different grasses, and they'll kind of go to different food sources in these mobs. George, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, but George is the only <laughs> kangaroo at uh, Babby Farms, right? Correct, correct. Okay. They have wallabies, and there's, you know, so many people say, what's the difference between <laughs> a kangaroo, a wallaby, a wallaroo? A wallaroo, I remember that exactly, one Exactly, exactly. All it is actually is size. So, um, and like I said, these are the biggest. So the kangaroos are actually the largest. And so and there's over 50 different types of uh, marsupials in Australia. And once again, like I said, this is definitely... What's always so interesting is their feet. Exactly, and they cannot move independently. So that's, of course, why they hop. They can literally, um, they can, they can literally clear up to a ten-foot fence. Wow. Um, they every, they can go up to like thirty miles an hour. But the coolest thing, like each bound, it could be anywhere from like twenty-five feet. Wow. Want to give so it a try, Natalie? Oh, sorry. Oh. Go ahead. So <laughs> they, the, the left foot cannot move in front of the right. Foot. No, they nope. have to go together. Yep, okay. yep. They have to go. And I have to say, they have done a great job at Babby Farms working with George. He's done so much better. Um, <laughs> George, <laughs> George remembers me. He remembers my wife too. He got to meet her one time, <laughs> and she, she kind of had a little. A little thing for George, because he was just so, I mean, he's a little bit bigger than he was then, but he was, he's just so cute, still yeah, is. Yeah, yeah he is, and like you said, a lot of growing to do. Now, I have a question for you. Okay. Motherhood is going great for you, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think George has a pouch? No. The, good job, good job. Oh, it's a right <laughs> it, it, yes. Okay, it makes sense. Yes. I, was, I was about to say, is that a trick question? No, 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 they actually don't. Only the female um, kangaroos or only the female marsupials actually have pouches. And the little Joey, the tiny little guy, he's like this big, they actually emerge after 33 days. Wow. And they climb all the way up into the mother's pouch and they're there for several months. They'll go on to a teat, they're for several months, and then they'll actually finally emerge. So they're just tiny little guys, little undeveloped wow. little guys. So are they, are they actually born, if you will, into the pouch, are they born no. and then they find their way to the pouch? Yep, they're actually born and they find their way and they have wow. to use. And I'm really assuming they're blind at that time and everything oh like yeah, a lot absolutely. of animals. And they actually have to use their really, really strong, strong. Oh, these the bathroom. <laughs> um, welcome back to Creature Feet, Natalie. <laughs> They'll use their very, very strong hind legs to actually crawl up, um, uh, you know, from the abdomen up to the mother's pouch. So. Yeah. Quite incredible, and of course, like I said, those hind legs really help them out even from the start of, you know, birth. Yeah, and that's not that bad, George, because we had a camel on the show before. Exactly. So yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Creature Beach, Yeah, Natalie. certainly. Yeah, so, <laughs> pro, yeah, and from toe to heel, we got probably like a foot on that foot, right? His, his feet are really like a foot. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> they are. And like I said, they will continue to get bigger. Wow. wow. And George the kangaroo, an old favorite of ours. We'll see how much he changes over time. He's changed a little bit already from the last time <laughs> we saw him. And, of course, big thanks to Babby Farms and to Corbin Maxey for yeah. bringing George the Kangaroo once yeah. again. Thank